have spoken. The results are wine service isn't up to par. Coming up in today's Wino segment, find out why Pangea takes pride in their pours. We'll be right back. Wine spectator savvy sippers say too often sommeliers are undereducated and over opinionated. The bottom line, they simply don't trust their server's advice. This edition of Wino, we are getting serious about service. These results may be a wake-up call for restaurants across the country, but here in the Central Valley, Pangea doesn't have to sweat the statistics because when it comes to service, they set the standard. And we brought in Pangea Wine Director Ben Ferris to walk us through a little Wine Service 101. So let's start off by talking about the results of this Wine Spectator survey. Now, 60% of people polled said that they were unhappy with the service they were receiving in restaurants. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think it's valid. I think that's a valid number. Um, the people that 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 cat that go out a lot, they go out often, and especially people that would answer a survey of that kind, um, definitely look for very high-end wine service. And, and the majority of restaurants out there kind of let it take a back seat to their food quality or any other number of things. You take pride in your wine service here. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, um, I actively try to make sure that uh, all, all staff is up to, uh, up to par on, on, their, on their wine service, what I consider proper wine service, um, and their wine knowledge. We have a pretty consistent wine list and it's kind of all over the board so you got to know a little bit about everything to really be able to keep up here. Well and you, you do a good job keeping up. Another interesting uh, result from the survey that I read was 91% of people surveyed said they will order premium wines by the glass and I understand that you do have a very extensive list of premium wines by the glass. Um, actually we do. We carry uh, anywhere from 20 to 25 uh, wines by the glass at any time and they do sell very well. Why don't you walk us through what a, what a standard wine service would be here for, okay. if I I wanted to order a bottle of wine. I'm a customer here at Kenji. If you have questions like you want it in a particular price point or you have a particular body style that you're looking for, it really helps us to narrow down um, your choices and what's really going to fit your palate and what your dining experience is going to be. So if we if we start by opening the wine list, um, what kind of wines do you like? Light bodied red. Absolutely. Um, when you say light body, I would I would immediately think uh, Pinot Noir, um, possibly like a lighter Malbec or a really light uh, Dry Creek Valley Zinfandel. Do you have a pr particular price point that you're looking for? You know, I don't want to spend more than $50. Is that okay to say? Is that Absolute, embarrassing? Because sometimes you're embarrassed. In, you my, know, to say in that. my position, I would much rather people be very upfront and, and very blunt about what they're looking to spend because when it comes down to it, that's what really matters to somebody. If I can suggest the best bottle of wine in the world, but if they get their bill and it's a $120 bottle of wine when they were only looking to spend $45, everything I said went out the door. Okay, perfect. Less than $50, please. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Most of the people in California, and especially in Fresno, kind of like to stick to home. So they like, kind of like to keep it in California. Um, so I would probably actually um, recommend something out of Edna Valley. Okay. Um, we have a really great Claiborne and Churchill right here um, that is uh, that is reasonably priced. It's only $38 a bottle. Oh, so great. I just saved 12 bucks. Sounds good. Book it. I'll take it. When presenting wine, uh, you always want the, the label to be facing the guest who ordered it um, at all times. Uh, this is going to be our Claiborne and Churchill Pinot Noir out of Edna Valley, vintage 2006. And then you remove the cork, you present the cork. Uh, most people actually smell it, but that's wrong. Um, present the cork so that you can see if there's moisture on the end of the cork there, uh, which means that the cork hasn't shrunk. Um, if, there, if, the, if the wine isn't in contact with the end of the cork, the cork kind of uh, dries out and shrinks oh. and it allows air to get in the bottle. We don't want and that. that's when you get, uh, you get uh, flawed wine. You're going to swirl the wine. And you present this to the host, the person who ordered the bottle of wine, Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. And then they decide for the table if it's good. Is Just it? like that. Yes, please. You go around the table in a, in a clockwise uh, fashion. Um, ladies first, then gentlemen, then the host last. Okay, perfect. And then what about decanting wine, Ben? If it's an older bottle of wine, I almost, I want to insist, I want to like let them know how important it is because that bottle of wine has been in a bottle for years and years and years. Right. It needs a little bit, it needs to breathe, it needs to open up. How would I know what to look for if a, wa a wine was flawed? Um, actually, in the glass, you'd look for a cloudiness. You might look for a cloudiness, like some kind of film that might have developed in the wine, some kind of flora that might have developed in the wine. Um, you also look, if it's a young wine and it's really bricked out and the color is really kind of dropped out of the wine, that might mean that, there, that it's been oxidized and that oxygen's gotten to it uh, at a time when it shouldn't have. I would look for in the nose something honestly unpleasant. Something unpleasant, um, okay. Wet dog is, is, a, is, a, is a big one. That's um, not pleasant. Uh, Band-Aid. It would be okay to sit in it back? Absolutely. Wouldn't be, you wouldn't have to feel nervous or no, anything? Not no, not at all. going to be mad not, at you. No, absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. It's about the experience. It's not, it's not about 
the, the single bottle of wine. It's about making sure that you have a great experience and that when you leave, you want to come back. Why don't you uh, take a seat here? You've worked so hard today and have a little toast with me to excellent wine service at Pangea. Absolutely. Thanks, Ben. All right, Alex, I promise you and I will come here. We'll share a bottle.